Hi, and welcome to Judd's channel, right here on YouTube. <laughs> I'm using Sony Vegas Pro version 10, and this is a tutorial on how to use the Boris FX Continuum version 7 lightning effect. This is a video track here, this is a video track here, and this is a video track here. And what I have done is I took a video or take a picture of an old house many moons ago. It's creepy, isn't it? It's kind of cool. It's uh, late 1800s Victorian Queen Anne style, I believe. And behind that, I have these wonderful, interesting clouds, as you see, that are rolling ominously in the distance. And what I want to do is I want some lightning, okay? Because I'm going to be adding some sound effects and all this neat stuff to my clip here. But in order to do that, you got to have Boris FX version 7 continuum, and it rocks. So let's go right now and start with this empty video track. I'm going to insert an empty event by coming up here, clicking this, and going to empty event. It went in the wrong area, that's okay. And I'm gonna shorten it just a little bit. Now what I wanna do is I wanna add an effect to this empty event here, okay? So I'm gonna right click it, and I'm gonna to go to video effects. So I double click that, and that puts it over here for me. So what I want to do is now, now that I've got lightning, I want to take a look at the presets. Right now there's no preset. They've got default. Let's look at it and see what that looks like. Ooh, that's kind of creepy, isn't it? Now notice that my lightning is in front of my house. That's not cool. So I'm going to do a flip-flop here. This here, needs this complete track here needs to be on the top, right? Yeah, it does. So I'm going to bring my lightning down here. Now let's go over here. And it's right behind. But I don't really want it in the center. Maybe I want my lightning to strike over here in this field. You know, and come from over here or over here or what have you. Well, you can do that with a Boris FX Continuum version 7. And the way to do that, position it, is simple. You come down... Uh, in your list of controls, which are quite extensive, and you find source. Now source, you drop the box down and you'll see a little box with a little um, bullseye. The bullseye is basically where the lightning is coming from, the source of the lightning. So let's say we want the lightning to come from, see it move? See there? Oh, isn't that cool? Yeah, I like it. So maybe you want to put it over, I don't know. Maybe right there. Now, but I don't want it to strike behind the house. I want to be able to see those creepy tendrils. It's simple. Uh, close your source area and then go to the destination. That makes sense, right? Right now, it's behind the house. Well, let's take and move this bullseye over a little bit. And miraculously, you see that creepy cool lightning coming up. But you don't want it to shine back behind there, do you? No, of course not. So you bring it up just a little bit. That way it looks like it's striking in the distance. Isn't that cool? All right. Now, this lightning, as you see, has got a hue to it, which really, honestly, I don't think I want that in my effect because I'm going for stark uh, effects here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for... And I have not pre-done this, so I'm going to just kind of tool around just to give you an idea about how easy it is to use this tool when creating lightning bolts. All right, let's look down here and see what we're looking for. We're looking for, hmm, what am I looking for? I'm looking for, like, the color of it, and where shall that be? Motion control, fork, glow control. Could it be glow control? Let's click and see. The inner color. Okay, we're, we're with the colors here. The inner color, it shows like a pink, but I don't see a pink. Maybe I could play around here. Does it change it? It changes a little bit. It's not as blue, right? So let's just keep it at white. What does this do? Oh, it changes it. Oh, okay, I see. Kind of cool. All right, kind of cool. Now let's go into inner width. Would this change that and get rid of that for me? Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. Now I'm going to go to outer color. Okay, let's click that. Hmm. 
Maybe I don't want it to color at all. Can I go down there and click and see what it does? Can I make it just white? Oh, that looks good. That kind of goes along with my black and white effect on my clouds. I like that. That looks good. See how easy that was? Uh, this plug-in, what have you, is really cool. So basically, I have my lightning here. Now, I might want to move it somewhere else, right? Because I might have an effect in another area. Well, let's see what it looks like right here. I'm going to play. Bam! Okay, that's a little too long for my liking. <laughs> it got stuck there. Let's try that again, and let's kind of shorten it a little bit. I'm shortening the empty event with the Boris Lightning Bolt effect. Here we go. That's still a little too long for me. It's, if lightning's like that, we're talking, you know, major ruage, as they say. Um, so I don't want that. Let me just go here and try clicking and let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's fast. Okay, I like that. Well, maybe too fast. Maybe just a little bit more. And go back. Okay, I like that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> All right. But I want it to go somewhere else in the clip. That's easy enough. So what I'm going to do is maybe I'm just going to click this. And I'm going to use the control button. And I'm going to drag it over into another area of the video. Now, they say the lightning doesn't strike the same place twice, right? Well, not a problem. Since you've got a copy of this, you want to go to the effects, which it'll come in here, and uh, you want to change your source and your destination, if I can find it. There it is. Okay, this time, we're going to have the lightning coming from, say, I don't know, Let's see it would come from over here. Ooh, that looks good. I don't know, I want it over that corner. Okay, and uh, destination. Let's bring that up a little bit. Ooh, yeah, I like that. That looks really good. See, this is so cool. You can see it as you're moving it. And everything else is as it should be, so let's kind of preview that and see what that looks like. Hey, isn't that cool? Okay. So basically, you should know how to create the source or place the source and the destination of the Boris lightning bolt in your clip. And uh, make sure that you put it in the right location. If you saw, I had to flip flop my um, video tracks. But the effect is absolutely fantastic. I love it. And it's really creepy, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Please fave this video and uh, let me know that you liked it and it helped you. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.